In the realm of Social Security, where crucial benefits are a lifeline for millions of individuals encompassing various categories such as retirement, disability, survivors, spousal support, and SSI, a recent revelation has surfaced that demands our attention. It's a call to acknowledge a significant disparity that has persisted for far too long, one that could potentially alter the lives of over 71 million beneficiaries across the nation. Picture this, a proposal suggesting an astonishing 63.4% increase in Social Security benefits. Yes, you heard that right. A raise of such magnitude could redefine the financial landscape for countless individuals, injecting hundreds upon hundreds of additional dollars into their monthly income. But before we delve into the intricate details of this proposal, let's take a moment to reflect. Imagine, if you will, the impact of such a substantial raise on your own life. It's not a trick question. The answer is clear. Such an adjustment would undoubtedly be life-changing for the masses reliant on these benefits, offering a reprieve from financial strain and uncertainty. Now, let's dissect the numbers and unravel the underlying issues at play here. Over the span of 23 years, from 2000 to 2023, Social Security benefits witnessed an increase of 81.2%. On the surface, this figure may seem commendable, a testament to the system's responsiveness to the needs of its beneficiaries. However, juxtaposed against the reality of escalating living expenses, including housing, transportation, food, healthcare, and more, this increase pales in comparison. During the same period, living expenses for fixed income beneficiaries surged by a staggering 144.5%. This glaring disconnect between the rise in benefits and the exponential growth in expenses paints a sobering picture, one where the current cost of living adjustments, COLAs, fail to bridge the ever-widening gap. The crux of the matter lies in the discrepancy between the intended purpose of COLAs, namely, to align benefits with the true cost of living and their actual efficacy in doing so. As the data suggests, the gap between the two stands at a monumental 63.4%, signifying a systemic failure to adequately address the evolving needs of Social Security recipients. One might question the reliability of the Consumer Price Index, CPI, readings, which ostensibly inform these COLAs. If the discrepancy between benefit increases and actual expenses is any indication, it's evident that the current metrics fall short of accurately reflecting the economic realities faced by beneficiaries. Proposed reforms such as transitioning from the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, CPIW, to the Consumer Price Index for the Elderly, CPIE, offer a glimmer of hope. However, even these measures may prove insufficient in capturing the full spectrum of expenses incurred by retirees and individuals with disabilities. At the heart of this issue lies a fundamental question. Are we truly serving the best interests of our most vulnerable citizens? The answer, it seems, is a resounding no. As advocates for social and economic equity, it's imperative that we amplify the voices of those affected by these disparities and demand meaningful change. This requires bold and decisive action on multiple fronts, from comprehensive reforms to social security and health care, to investments in education, affordable housing, and job creation. It demands a commitment to uplifting the voices of those most affected by these injustices and centering their experiences in the policymaking process. Ultimately, the fight for a 63.4% increase in Social Security benefits is about more than just money. It's about dignity, respect, and the fundamental belief that every individual deserves a fair chance at a decent and fulfilling life. It's time for us to come together as a society and demand nothing less than the justice and equality that we all deserve.